Hello, everyone, and welcome to another fresh episode with Baba Yoba. I'm also known as Great Mona Yelara, your brother, your friend, and also your servant in universe. Today, we are going to be talking about a topic that is titled Unraveling the Misconception of Invisible Image, uh, Initiate, rather. Unraveling the misconception of the invincible in initiate or the Egbeorun Egbeorun in Yoruba. The Egbeorun in Yoruba. Um, over the time in our life, you or someone close to you must have been diagnosed of belonging to a certain Cult that are invincible. They said it is Egbe that it is an invincible cult you belong to. And sometimes they say this cult or these initiates are troubling your life. And the reason why that diagnosis come up often is because you are different from every other person, maybe your family maybe in your place of work, maybe in the conventional setting, you refuse to bow to the order of the day, this new world order, this unusual slavery kind of order, the order which, which you have to go and get permission from someone before you can become yourself or who you are. When you do not think the way they think, you don't behave the way they behave, you don't talk the way they talk. You don't see the way they see, and you don't even dream the way they dream. You have your confidence optimum. You have your your courage. So, so at the peak, uh, you can be diagnosed as having the invincible initiates, either at your disposal, troubling you and all that. And also, you can also be said to have uh, this popular one, they said, uh, the spirit husband, the spirit wife, the spirit children. All those things, you must have encountered it from either the religion of the invaders, either Islam, Christianity, or from some Babalao who are practitioners of Isheshe. And I'm making the emphatic statement today, not as the law and order over your life or whatever it is that you have believed so far, but as the one who brings enlightenment and knowledge to you, that that is a huge misconception right there. It is a whole lot of misconception which we must correct. As a matter of fact, right away, I am greeting everybody saying hello. We greet everybody, we welcome you, don't forget that the best you can do for your friends and family is to share this with them. A lot of them must have suffered from the hand of abusers who would have wrongly abused them or accused them of being in one egbe or the other. Now, starting from the angle of the religion of the invaders, it is only a mad person that will embrace the concept of having a spiritual father, a spiritual mother, having a spiritual son and spiritual daughter, but we decline the concept of having a spiritual husband and also a spiritual wife. So you are the spiritual son and daughter to your spiritual father and mother who are helping you to get rid of spiritual, uh, spiritual husband and wife. So if you find it difficult to settle down, possibility there is they will diagnose you to have a spiritual husband. If you are a female, if you are a man also, possibility there is that they would diagnose you of having a spiritual wife. If you also are barren or not yet reproducing, either because of some kind of deformity or some kind of delay or the other, they also are going to tell you that you are, you are having spiritual children somewhere in where they call the marine world that the marine spirit, are, you know, all those things. I wonder why you guys sit down and listen to these people and allow them to formulate the hypothesis of your life. 
there are so many health challenges that could be wrong with a woman or a man, or some kind of behavioral challenges that could result to them not having to settle down if it is paramount. And by the way, I tell you as a spiritual, as an African spiritualist, that it is not compulsory that you must be married in life. It is not compulsory that you must also reproduce. It is not all other elements of nature that reproduce. If you die without having a child in this world, but you are able to touch the lives of other children that you have, you have achieved more. And there is nothing that is assuring you that the children you bore with your own blood and gene will have pity on you when you are in need of them. But the concept of African mentality that comes from the way of saying, if I don't put my name on it, then it doesn't belong to me, we must do away with them. I realize that reproduction, or let me say parenting in Africa setting is like owning another property, something to bear your name, something that you can pass your legacy on, something that you can call your own. It is another property ownership kind of scheme. It has nothing to do with sharing love. If it is sharing love that is your paramount concern and your motive in life, you will not be particular about, okay, it must come from my own body or blood. You can easily adopt those children by the roadside. They also need father and mother. You can go take one from the orphanage and share love with them. Train them up. As a matter of fact, they can bear your name. If putting your name as a tag on someone, a human being is what is paramount to you. You can also go ahead and give them your legacy. But because in African setting, we have been so bastardized to want to own everything and put our name on it. Everybody wants to have their own private housing. So the government is not building infrastructure so that we can share or buy a block of flats with each other and share. We want to have like two, three cars. We are not patronizing the metro buses. We are too big. Everybody wants to be the ownership and the ownership mentality is what we transfer into reproduction. And I tell you for a fact that until Africans stop looking at reproduction as another kind of ownership scheme where they can have a child to put their name on, the hoodlums, the bandits, the terrorists will keep growing in your land and the children you refuse to train up will bring a gun to your doorstep one day. That's by the way of digression. So there's nothing telling you that you can adopt. You have not committed any grievous uh, uh, crime against nature if you are not able to reproduce. I'm not saying you don't try to reproduce. You can make reproduction. Meet Babala who Abalish to get you. But if you can't get it, don't allow them to keep sniping money from you and snitching you and all that. Just adopt or even just live your life like that. I realized that those who give birth and those who don't give birth, they will still turn to dust. Those who have money and those who don't, we still turn to dust. Everybody will become a memory and history at the end of the day. That is by the way of digression. So if anybody is telling you that your barrenness is due to the fact that instead of you giving birth in real life, you are giving birth in the spiritual realm or you are giving birth in the, in the marine world, no, I go and tell them that they are liars. These people are, are the ones that are bastardizing African spirituality. There is nothing so spectacular about the marine world that you cannot assess. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was telling a lady the other time, I said, when I say you are identified with power or you, you are the child of, a, of, of water, I'm not saying that a certain, a certain mammy water with half human, half uh, a fish gave birth to you or you are possessed with kind of spirit like that i'm saying that the energy of water works in your temperament and all that so we need to come to time with how we interpret things to people and i'm not saying i'm the overall knowledge of all these things so the other time i was telling someone that the concept of having a bear is not something we should really somebody said but baba if i am me a boy said this and that i said baba if i am me a boy is not the monopoly of knowledge it is only you human being that refuse to mutate and also agree. If we get limited by information that we heard from the past, we will not look ahead to solve this question that is applicable to our own circumstances. Are you with me now? 
a lady, for example, came to me. What she's suffering from is uh, she wants to get married and she couldn't find a man who want to stay with her. And as she was talking to me, even I, as a person, do not find her attractive. I'm going to tell you simple cases of two ladies and one man. Why don't I find her attractive? Not because she's not pretty. No, she's pretty. But her mouth smells. Oh, yeah, little sis, you know, is there a little sis or whatever it is? I don't When she speaks from afar, it's just woozy. What kind of a man want to go with a woman like that? So whatever she goes to, she has been, have been telling her that she has a spiritual husband. So she expected me to start consulting in fact to tell her this and that. But immediately I saw her, I said, oh, you want me to tell you the truth? The thing that comes out of your mouth can kill mosquito. Can you go and see a dentist? Let them wash your mouth for you. And she didn't take it badly. She went. She got herself cleaned up. It was in the following month that one of her colleagues at work started saying, I want to, I want to. And they got married immediately. I just made a simple life correction. There's another one that came to me. The same spiritual band and all of those things is what they But she's the one with so many specifications. She's so proud. She's so full of herself. Yeah. I understand the world where women feel oppressed by men. You don't carry it on your head that you are, is it misandry or you hate men and all that? You are hating men outwardly, but you love to have men in your life inwardly. You are long para here. So I told her to calm down. And we got her settled. The case of the last one, which is the man, this man actually have anger issue. He doesn't know that he's aggressive when he's talking to people. So he came to me and was talking. I said, Oga, are we fighting? You have paid for divination. Why don't you come down and let me do my job? I said, that's the way I talk. That's what people. I said, nobody will marry you with this. Can you are scaring people? Even I, as a man, you are scaring me away. And immediately he made the life change and adjustment of lifestyle. Everything said to but in another climb, they will tell you, you are spiritual husband, you are spiritual wife and all. All those things. Sometimes not everything is spiritual. You have to be able to look inward yourself and analyze. So it is good for you when you are consulting a babalawo. Consult the one who also are training in other scientific aspects of life. For example, I'm a certified psychosomatist psychosomatism is the ability to use your mind to heal your body coming to town with yourself talking you into healing yourself and getting the right way of life so we now move not everything is up by leo do i know there are so many things that happen to people in those days maybe like children who have autism Somebody coming to me to do a divination for a child who has autism. I can't heal a child with autism. In those days, our fathers call them a kandainya. It is wrong for me to start taking money from you because I want to kill autism. Autism is, is a genetic issue. And the reason why it is like that is because the learning spectrum of that child is even from your own conventional learning spectrum. So either of you will have to compromise. It's either you come to their level or they go to your level. They are learning to be like you. For once, try to learn to be like, reason from your own perspective also. Those children are artistic in nature. They are very illustrative. They have their usefulness in our world too. You don't say it's a demonic attack because a child has autism. I know what I'm saying is going to be very painful for so many babalawo who want to make milk you dry. I'm not saying it's fun having a child with autism, but I'm saying that, come, autism is a genetic issue. It's either the child inherited from the mother or the child inherited from the father. One of you must carry the gene of autistic or autism in you. It might not manifest in you fully. 
but manifest in them. For example, when I was little, there's a woman behind a house. We call her Elijah Mabadige. I was born in Ijebu Ife, but I'm not a native of Ijebu. I'm a native of Ijebu, but I was born in Ijebu Ife. I lived in Ijebu Ife for 23 years. Then we moved out of it. So we usually go to fetch water from Elijah Mabadige's house. When I was little, I'm not the best orator in life. I don't know how to speak to people. I don't, I don't look people in the eyes. I'm curious within myself. I ask myself questions. I've been questioning who is God who made God who made me who made God himself. If darkness is this, I just ask myself and I try to figure. I spend time with nature. I just steer into the atmosphere and just, I'm always quiet, just on my own. Unfortunately for me, I also have a very strict father who did not allow expression at all. So where everybody is talking and all that, I'm just I'm just moving like this. I'm just moving like this because what I'm seeing is not what you're seeing. So I was 13 year old that time when I went to fetch water in Elijah Mabadige's compound and somebody tried to mess with me. So I spoke out in anger and the woman ran from her house to my mother and say, he has started talking, he has started talking. And when I came home, I saw her jubilating and my mother was wondering, that started talking, who is starting to talk? And say yeah he's talking and my mother said yes he wasn't dumb he wasn't deaf he, he talks and the man said for 13 good years i've known this boy right before my eyes he was born i have not heard a word single word from his mouth before but i talk to people i'm close to people who understand me like my mother and my elder sister if I'm in UK, US at that time or whatever, I would have been categorized as autistic. I wasn't the best of students when I was in primary school or secondary school. But immediately I finished secondary school, something picked up in me I can't understand. My brain started spiking and I became so vocal. And every single thing I had spent my little childhood to my teenage and the early years of my youth to learn started coming up. And I realized that nature reserved me to learn about it until this time. So somebody come to me and say, give me a reference to the book where you read this and that. I say, I didn't learn from anybody. I studied the nature. The best of the book is nature. I hope we are getting this teaching through this understanding and allegory. The best of book is just to apply your common sense to nature. Most of the things I see and I, I didn't learn it from anybody. But I took my time and my mother was not running from pillar to pole trying to heal me of autism. It could be very low spectrum in some, very high spectrum in some, mid spectrum in some, but you don't push an autistic, autistic guy to, autistic child to, to a spiritualist and say, go, go and take care. No, autism is not a spiritual ailment. The, the universe, it was their gene. But I was allowed the freedom of knowing all these things myself. So if you are looking for a babalao that will take care of your autistic child, not me. Everyone that has come to me for that, I've taken this lecture from me. I said, allow the child. They, when they grow, you will be marveled. You, they will pay you off for the time of your patience with them. But when you take these children to another babalao, they will say, that it is spiritual attack. This They will keep taking money from you. Just the way they have been taking money from so many of you to tell you that you belong to one Egbe. The concept of having spiritual power and being able to manifest your spirituality and divinity is too much for mankind that when you begin to do it, they want to give the glory and the credit to another invisible being. They don't believe in you. That's why they say you have Egbe. They don't believe that you as a person can maximize your element in nature and be able to do drastically awesome things. And when you do those things, they believe there are some invisible initiates who are aiding and abetting you or supporting you. And also because you find solace in you being told that you have a bear and all that, you need something to threaten those who threaten you. And you say, don't try me, don't try me, I have a bear. If I call my bear, what is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you people? What is the problem with you people? Can you not just come to turn with yourself? That's why we say African spirituality is about knowing yourself. So when they say you are the Ebbe, which of the Ebbe, what is the name of the Ebbe? They say some is uh, Emiri, some is uh, Abiku, some is uh, this and that. So I said, the concept of Abiku, I said, before you start reproducing, 
you as a man, you as a woman, do you take time to go and check your egg and sperm before you start to produce it? So that you know that what you're about to reproduce can survive the terrain of this universe. Do you take time to check your genotype too? Because sometimes, because of lack of adequate information, we spiritualize a lot of things back in those days. So an AS and AS is marrying each other. Or they are both not compatible. They have the resource, whatever it is that they call it. And they stick, they keep having children who are dying and all that. They say, Abiku Kekiri, Abiku Agba, and all that. And they don't know what is causing it. So they spiritualize it. Everything mankind do not have explanation for, they spiritualize it. They spiritualize it. So somebody say, if you are saying the concept of Abiku does not exist, what happened if I they gave back to a child in our village? So when the child was about to die, they now broke the child's leg. When the mother wanted to give birth again, now give birth to exactly a child with a broken leg. I said, who do you think to reproduce that energy you have damaged in nature? Who? Me. Am I the one who broke, who tampered with an energy? The things you do will always come back to you. Remember the story I told you about Oromela and that woman with bean cake? The evil you do stays with you. The good you do comes back to you. So if you like, when you think nature did not do the best for you, or because of your ignorance, you keep reproducing children who cannot survive in this terrain. So you now went to tamper with the energy of nature because all of us are energies. Energies can be also interchangeably used as spirit. You broke the leg of that child, so you damage that energy. When you want to reproduce again, the same child will come back to you. The same energy will be reproduced back to you. So you are the one to bear the grunt of the, the nastiness you have caused nature. You get the point now? It is not because some there's a warehouse for some abiku somewhere. You need to come to turn with it. This is not free thinking talk. This is common sense talk. This is not atheism talk. This is common sense talk. Not everything, every time spiritualizing, spiritualizing, spiritualizing. You are the one leaving your pocket and your purse for all these babala to took you. You will not maintain what is necessary, like knowing your element of nature, be boring, peacing your worry, and ensuring that the energy around you is perfect, and knowing that you are sleeping on having intercourse with the right set of person who align with your own element also, but you'll be bothered with uh, this and that. So they say you are Emery. Why are they calling you Emery? For example, why are they calling you Emery? So you woke up one day and you had a dream. That maybe your father died or your uncle died. Is he a sin to have a revelation ahead? Is premonition now a sin or a crime? Is it bad for you to know what is about to happen? And because you are bold enough to say, I saw daddy in the dream, he died. And the next day daddy died, they just start you a witch or somebody who have a girl. They just tag you that you have a girl. So they took they take you to Celestia, where they beat you with palm fund. Waste your life. You know what those guys do? They suppress your emotion. They abuse you psychologically. So even though the innate feeling is within you, you keep suppressing yourself and doubting who you are. They simply took the best thing away from you, which is your self-confidence. Taking your confidence away from you. Look at what you are, Korofo. They take you to Babala, who will do Pele for you and all that. Mess you up big time. So many of you have been gifted with the gifting of maybe going into trance or hearing vividly the voice of nature. And because you, the only crime you committed in your life is that you are able to express or relate it. And it became what you said. It is okay for their pastor to say tomorrow this will happen and it happens. They will go and give the guy more money, idolize him more. But when you say you did, they, they, they say you have a girl. Every little thing you have a bear, the invisible initiator and all that. And what is this misconception? The misconception starts when the Babalawo do not know that you, as an energy, have an identification as an element in nature. So you are either the sun, the earth, the water, or the air. And your ability to maximize your element in nature to the point where nothing in nature is a secret to you and nothing in the universe is impossible for you to do that either it is evil or good, it doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. You are aware ahead. Inability of that man to see that there's something spectacular about this child 
they will just mark you and say only a bear you have a bear on that there are some invisible initiate coming to your aid see babala we should come to term with their inadequacy and limitation that i do not know what this child knows because you are scared of a child's ability does not mean you should demonize that child so many of you are scared of your children because they are way smarter than you so you tell them shut up there shut up there shut up there why why so we live in a world where there is so much emptiness nobody is doing the miraculous nobody is doing the spectacular everybody is living like ordinary people you are supernatural you are a divinity on your own so what is the essence of being a divine being when you cannot even tell us what is about to happen next when you have no inkling or even any hint of the step you're about to take so the babala will keep condemning you just like the pastor will condemn you just like the imam will condemn you so that they can have the monopoly of knowledge so whenever there's an issue with you you have to still run to them and in running to them you make them reach i'm not saying babala that is helping you maximize who you are your divinity and all i'm saying those ones who con who conveniently and intentionally hide the necessary information you need for your life and divinity from you. So maybe you have a child somewhere in your home who is way more intelligent than you, who is more in tune with nature than you are. This is not a time to go and abuse that child and take them to any and say they have a good or they should be dealt with. It is a crime against nature for you to suppress whatever power and understanding and the knowledge that your dad has. Your duty as a parent is to enhance them and help them to be able to amass all these things and unnest them effectively. But look at you today. 99.9 percent .9 of us as African people did not even do Akose Jaye when we were born. You know the essence of Akose Jaye? The Akose Jaye is what tells you the element of nature you belong to what you are to do in life as a person your own assignment in this dispensation and the steps you should take what you can eat what you can't eat what you can wear what you can't wear where you should go the profession you should take up and your own divine ability we were born and we were treated we were born as supernatural and divine but we were raised as useless and ordinary are you getting the logic now so when they don't understand you they demonize you when they don't know what you're about they just condemn you when they cannot fathom or figure out who you are they just blacklist you so how many of you have suffered from the end of these blacklisters called babalawo called pastors call him up african spirituality is about you being god and me being god and we all being god without one god affecting the other or one god being more powerful than the other god African spirituality is you beaming your information accurately without saying a word and I'm catching the signal without even making effort. So you want to stress people? Somebody said, uh, uh, one of his a friend always say, I'm, I belong to a bear and all that. See, people who want to hide their inferiority complex and self-esteem issue or love when they are lied to. They love this mystery life and this lie that they belong to one ebbe so that you so so, so i can i can scare I, I can get scared of you right i can get so you when after telling me that so i would now be scared of you and i will be shaking because you have a the one who belongs to an invisible initiate will not be the one to tell you just know that this person is not normal they they just don't so you are trying to make a deal with me now and i know you are lying and i'm able to tell you bro don't stress yourself you are a liar i know what and i'm telling you exactly what you are what what, what will your reaction be you'll be scared and say oh there may be some some invisible spirit are giving me inkling or giving me messages or cheating on you for me no I'm just able to understand my own element of nature and because I'm not denying nature of my of access to me my anatomy I became one with nature and I become divine are you are you getting the point where I'm trying to 
cut across to you. So maybe if only we can air out this message and share it with as many as our friends as possible, a lot of them will withdraw themselves from these pastors and this imam and all these fake babalao. Living in a misery. Timing sleep paralysis to be demon pressing you. Somebody woke up in the body and their brain is not yet up. And they want to forcefully just wake up. Do you know different parts of your body think differently? You think it's only the memory that controls everything. Your body can be awake and your brain is not. Sometimes you feel sexual and you are not having erection. But alone will she, you want to she, a lot of like Jajabala, you know, I got no more. So you want to have intercourse, but you're, you know, you know, say, I'm tired. You will just be thinking about it. If your brain is what controls your body, then anytime you're ready, you should go. So you slept and you woke up, but your brain is not yet jump starting. So you begin to because they told you when you are scared then you are in the moment of your folly, you should call Jesus. So eventually your brain, you jumpstart it. You jumpstart your brain forcefully. Cold booting, which resulted to small, small, gradual brain damages. You know, say, after I call Jesus like this, I just woke up. Those demons trying to pull me down. Nobody is pulling. Nobody. Have, demons don't have your time. Oh. My brother, my sister. Demons are too busy. They don't have your time. If they have your time, you will not be the one to come and say, demon is trying to possess. Oh my, yeah, yeah, they will disgrace you. Eh? Are you getting me? You ask sleep paralysis. Go to the hospital and check it out. Not saying that you are not call the name of Jesus and you are not jump starting. Some of you that sleep work, ordinary sleep working. You say you are trying to go to a meeting physically and spiritually. That that's why you are always waking up, sleep working and all that. Sleep working is also a medical condition. Get yourself treated, people. Most of these things that people come to me for for divination, I'm just it just marvels me that this is how much. Oh, I now see. Now I realize why those people are buying private jets. Now I know why they are increasing in real estate. All of these things that they are telling you people is what is turning to money for them. This ignorance is translating to money for them. Come, you will not hear this truth from any other Babalawo on this planet. Because they want to be rich also. And what they have only done is to adapt the region of the invader as African spirituality, rebrand it, and present the same fear, ignorance, darkness, and, and, and uncertainty to you. Most of these things are just plain medical. You should just go take care of yourself. But you know, it's so unfortunate that even when you come to Babala when they say, you don't need to make sacrifice or anything. You would think he doesn't know work. So he wants to prove that he knows what he's doing. So he will tell you to bring money. And you think what you don't pay money for cannot be effective. You human being have been trained up to think that if your life is not difficult, that it is not divine. You can have a very awesome life without so much effort. You only need to be found where you need to be. A fish found on the soil or the ground, we have a difficult life. It doesn't make him less of a fish, but it's nowhere near his natural habitat. A lion inside the deep of the sea, we struggle, doesn't make him less of the king of the jungle. He's just mislocated. Many of you are dislocated. When you dislocate your joint, does life is life easy for you? Can you walk straight? You can't. A lot of you are found in your unnatural habitation. Where you are is not where you're supposed to be. Marrying who you are not supposed to marry. Living in the country you are not supposed you have no business with. Picking up profession you don't have business with. Making friends with those, having sex with those who just doing everything wrong and Singing it here, or somebody that is attacking you, and all you got your life messed up. Omo graph will you get there? Turn it upside down. If it will go to so called go your sign graph along your along your co sign there. So, how do we start these things? How do we even begin to make sure that everybody get back in lane? Because the moment you find the right path, everything becomes easy. They will start thinking you are doing magic or juju. No. People who are selling ordinary metal in Ojuiri, they are going to Germany, going to Canada. They can't even stay two weeks there. They are building houses as if they are, they, they are pulling everywhere. 
they found their right path on time. You have been doing space engineering all this while. Oh, we're frustrated. I hear Corey back on. Look at you. Look at you. Somebody is doing mechanic by the roadside. Ordinary vulcanizer. I know the houses they are building now. Vulcanizer. Vulcanizer. Just because he came for the mission, I will say you are a fiery air. And he looked at it and said, what kind of profession can I make with air? I cannot be flying in the sky. He went to go and be pumping air in tire. He's building houses everywhere. You, you have done PhD, you have done OAD, you have done HIV and AIC, you have done coronavirus even. Every certificate you are upgrading, look at your life. The only thing changing in your head is that you you become bad headed. Because they will now say it's one spirit that is attacking you. Because they don't understand who you are. They don't know you. They don't know how to guide you. They are clueless about what. They don't even know anything about you. That is the provision of African spirit. Unfortunately, we have a lot of these people out there who will also mad to your body. So you need to be careful. You will need to be now extra careful about those you go to for all these things. So all this misconception about invisible initiates and all that. Ordinary PRO, ordinary treasurer. Oh, dear, get get man, get bang, no. Oh, you have been part of this in invisible initiator of this war. You have not become the chairman. You are not even appointed as anything. All this in the invisible initiator do to you is just to torment your life, waste your money, mess your life up. You did not even ask. Maybe there is no egg somewhere. Or you are the one going to the wrong person. The way people go to Shiloh to go and break limit. They break limit almost five times in a year. So I began to say that the limit you are breaking is here as big as Atlantic or Pacific Ocean. You are not thinking maybe there's no limit somewhere to, bro to be broken. Or what you are using to break the limit is not even capable of break. When will you think? Today's teaching is not a teaching where I want to romance you. It's the teaching where I want you to stop the folly and this foolishness of allowing people to take it for granted. KPC, ABNC, ABNCC, or ZSDP, or NRC. You are posting everywhere. I have a bear. I belong to the invisible initiate. I belong to. You see, do you think it's, it's, it should not be? You should be ashamed of yourself that you are proud that you can hear what I speak. Be ashamed that you are now boasting. I can. I know how to make what I speak to me. Eh? Is that supposed to be a, an achievement? Are you not? You are the same with the water. If the water is more intelligent than you are. So hearing from water should not be something so phenomenal. It should be something that is so it should be a follow call. You should look for for a family where everyone have their own superpower. You believe in Marvel's character superpower. You don't believe that you have that superpower. The moment you are able to attain or even assess a little bit of that superpower, the first thing that comes to your mind is that you have a bare invisible initiate. Are you are you get, are you set, are you are you getting free? Is freedom coming? Are you getting your freedom now? All right. So the number, the chat, the the WhatsApp number on your screen, you can call it. You can call the WhatsApp number on your screen right now, strictly to be part of this program, not for you to start saying bye bye. I want divination. I'm busy online teaching for now. You can call the WhatsApp number on your on your screen right now if you want to be part of this particular conversation. If you have questions, if you have contribution you want to make, not chat, call straight away. If you want to call, you can go ahead right now and begin to call this particular WhatsApp number that is showing on your screen right now if you want to be part of this program. Are you are you with me? We have a few minutes more and we round up. And you can also start putting your questions on this particular um on the other side of the of the broadcast are you are you with me so when ignorance becomes the order of the day spiritualizing things becomes easy for people everybody wants to look so enigmatic everybody wants to look so for example when when i wear black and all that and people start saying okay it's this and that and all that. there's nothing there's nothing spiritual 
Why do you Africans stress yourself so much? Why would you think the nature gave you common sense if it doesn't want you to use it? If having a bear and having belonging to an initiate, invisible in, initiate cult, is what brings about success or whatever, why do you go to school to go and learn? Why does it require human beings to put planes together? Why can't just your invisible in, initiate just make you disappear from one place to the other? What tangible thing have they done for you? Ordinary food, ordinary water they cannot give to you. Are you with me? So we must come to reality of some things. I hope this person calling is calling to be part of this program and not calling for divination. All right, so let's hear what they have to say. Hello. Hello, are you doing? Are you calling to be part of the program or for something else? Yeah, I'm going to be part of the program, yeah. All right, so please you can speak up a little bit so that people can hear you clearly. All right, go yeah, ahead now. I have a question. All right. Um, yeah, what I'm saying is, uh, if one is identified with uh, whatever element it is, um, does it mean that uh, that person can be able to see something that an ordinary eye cannot see? Okay. Is that your question? Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I'm taking you out of the line now so that I can answer the question to people. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, for the sake of privacy, I don't call, I don't ask people their name and all that. This person is asking if one identify with an element, does it mean that you can see things that other people cannot see? Yes and no. Identifying with an element and activating that consciousness in you are two different things. The fact that you are not yet activated does not mean it is not in you. Everything you need in life is all within you. It's all within you. But you need to come to reality of it and begin to walk in that consciousness. Hello, please hold on on the line. Let me finish this thought. You have to come to reality and begin to walk in the consciousness of that particular element before you begin to live extraordinary. And your aim of identifying with that element should never be because you want to boast or you want to be better than others. It should be because you want to know yourself and be useful to mankind. Are you getting the point? So in your own limitation and your own area of calling, you'll be able to help the universe, uh, help the people in the universe and do the best you can. And of course, it is nothing so spectacular for you to be able to see what others cannot see. Nobody should see for you. You should be able to see for yourself. You should crave this thing and train your body, train your mind, train your hearing to be able to know all these things. So that's the uh, answer I will give to that. Uh, are you still on the line, sir? All right, please, uh, go uh, ahead with your uh, question. Uh, good evening, sorry. Thank you. Uh, how are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you. Uh, uh, thanks for your analysis. Your analysis is what But I have a little uh, question. Um, I need an, um, a, a, a clarification on Okay. I am quite new. This is my first time of coming in your show. Like the, um, okay, now. Uh, you make mention of divination. Okay. What was that? I don't understand, sir. Please, sir. Sorry, don't be offended. Please. All right. I just because from your analysis, you've been talking something that is it, very, very interesting. All right. From the from the uh, example you gave about how our body works, because yeah. I keep imagining that uh, at times you want to have sex, but your 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 third leg will say no. Yeah. When you mention it, I reason it critically. At times you are willing, but that one will say no. At times you want to do something, the body will say no. You understand? So I said, okay, this is the point. You know, at times as I've said, uh, we've uh, we as 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 a black nation, we've been we've taken religiosity. I 
as against spirituality. Hmm. Everybody are religious. Yeah, everybody. So we'll be baboos by those are stupid and some useless pastor. Not yeah. all. Use some useless one. But my question is that uh, what is the definition? Okay. And uh, because I need more explanation on that particular word definition. And all right. How am I going to how will it benefit me as an individual? Or, 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 or how am I going to get it? All Please right. don't be offended. All right. Thank you very much. Is that all your question? Yes, sir. All right. So I will take you off the line now and I'll be answering our people. Okay. Thank you very much for calling me. Okay. okay, thank you, sir. God bless you. Hello, uh, sir. One another thing. Okay. Okay. When when you answer, can I send you if you answer that one, can I send you a message on this um, on this WhatsApp? Certainly. That's the line to send a message to. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. I will do just that. All right. Thank you. I'm waiting for your response. All right. Thank you very much for calling in. And uh, regarding what he's asking, he's asking what is divination? Divination is a system of knowing the mind of nature or the universe. What I should do part time, what the root cause of my problem is, what I can do to reverse it, what I can do to make it better. That is divination. And the reason why we call it divination is because you are divine and you are supposed to believe in your divine reality where you do not live your divine reality. Unlike the religion of the invaders that tells you to give thanks always, even if you lose your child, you lose your husband, you lose your job, as I give thanks all the time and blah, 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 like that. Don't complain, don't query, don't do all this. No, in African spirituality, you can't complain, especially you can query the universe itself, what is happening? I'm dealing a business, it's not getting done. I'm doing this, it's not getting successful. What can I do? What is the root cause? So we are able to know if someone is manipulating the power of nature or the knowledge of nature against you, or you are the one in the right or in the wrong atmosphere. As simple as wearing a color that is not aligning with your element is, your life could be messy. A simple thing as moving from one country to certainly another country can mess your life up. So divination gives us the ability to know the mind of the universe and what you are supposed to be doing part time in the scheme of your own dispensation. I hope I'm able to answer that clearly. How can we do divination? When you want to get divination, except you are a babalawo who understand the concept of the divination, you have to go to a Babalao. We will ask for your first name and your mother's first name. If you are near, no need of sending your picture. If you are not, you send your picture. It depends on each Babalao to tell you, for rendering you my service, this is my own charge. However, if you won't say that, you are also al allowed to voluntarily push something down. The reason why money is requested is because it represents your sweat. And with your sweat or a fluid from you, your DNA can be easily analyzed. So whatever is wrong with you, is whatever your sweat is and fluid from you, we understand that you are struggling to make that money. So the money represents a fluid from you, which you use to critically analyze you. But your mother's name is important because that is your password or your gateway to your spirituality and divinity. So divination is knowing the mind of nature. I hope I'm able to understand that. And in that light, if you need divination, you can just say that Boru Boye to this particular WhatsApp line. Uh, no Babala we should be calling you or coming to your DM and all that. You should be the one going because NAT is a Roni Mountain Town, let's say. Are you with me? Thank you very much. Um, any other question? If you are calling in, let us know. If you are calling in, let us know so that um, we'll be able to answer quickly. And then, Randall, if you can't call in, you can put in your number. Uh, you can put in your question on the on the comment section here. Um, 
You can share this video with your friends and family also. All right, so somebody is asking a question. Say, what about the Egbe that Babala will ask you to join and ask that you bring annual offering? Egbe, who are the Babala that are telling you to join a certain Egbe? Who are they? Who are they? We should ask. What is that Egbe for? What are they trying to achieve by telling you that you must belong to this Egbe? Maybe the later part of your question is the essence of the Egbe annual offering, of course. When you make divination and the universe requests that you as a person should also be a wise person on your own, that your own calling in the universe is to also be a babalawo. What happened is that we do your own system of divination for you, which they call Ifa, indigenous of Africa, which if you are able to apply your mind to knowledge, you'll be able to do divination for yourself too. And it is only natural that you use the element of nature. Or for a babalawo to be recommending a certain egg, but maybe your bony, maybe a walk by, maybe this and that for you. What kind of babalawo do that? It is not the job of a babalawo to recommend you to join a certain egg. Victor is saying, Baba Yoba can one have more than one element? We have seen a case where one identify with more than one, but one would be paramount or primary while the other will be secondary. One will be primary, the other will be secondary. There must be a primary. Olufemi is saying, what does it mean when one dream of old school compound, old school classmate, and old houses in the past? Well, do you want me to start interpreting dreams? If you have started dreaming of these things, nature is telling you that there is a setback coming. There is a setback on your way. You should be what? Be careful and do the needful. Whatever the needful may be, it all depends on what comes out of your divination. That will answer that. But it's not a good thing. People are dreaming of the future. Somebody is dreaming of the past. May I sing in the call me or more me? Does that mean I am or my leg? I have taken time to explain to you now about the egg bear. Being no more me is not even a bad compliment. It's just telling you you identify with you are the what you identify with water, energy, and your own problem should be how can I maximize it? Yeah, thank you. Kathy is saying, my question, please. What is the best element a fire element can be with in relationship? There's actually a series I'm trying to come up with that will explain all these elements and what they can work with. A fire element will work effectively with air, 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 air. You know, naturally, air is one of the combustive uh, elements of fire. You fire, fan something into a flame and let it light up. And air is also able to balance the temperature of. So if you are fire and you are with someone who is water, one of you will have to die for another. Or one one life will be, will be miserable while the other will, will go on. All right. So, Babs is saying, can you tell all their elements available? We have four, majorly four in African spirituality. We have the fire, which can interchangeably be around with sun. We have the air. We have the earth. Ile. Ogere afokogeri. Alakwere. We have the water. 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 
Okay, any other question? Somebody say, all those pastors understand that divination will help us out our problem, but they will keep, they will say no, so they can keep bastardizing <laughs> your destiny. I, I think there's one guy in, uh, one Baba in Lagos, Ibadan Expressway. He always give you guys 100 days and fasting, 60 days and fasting, all those things. All right, so, Honey Top is saying, I do not agree with the ridiculous things done to different people. But then, are you saying there's no egg well at all? That's my simple analogy. There are elements of nature you identify with that can make you behave supernaturally and extraordinarily. Until you take me there, and until you become the chairman or treasurer or secretary of that egg I'll cross my own finger. How they say, what about gemstone in our Yoruba spirituality? What does gemstone has to do with Yoruba spirituality? Gemstone. Can you rephrase? Can you rephrase? Can you rephrase? Can you rephrase? If you can rephrase, then I'll be able to understand what you're saying. How do you know the element you identify with? Through divination. You consult a babalawo and they will help you find it out. You know, we said that divination system is knowing the mind of nature, universe by time. So when we do divination system, you'll be able to know all those things. We're able to know clearly. And when we do your element, it will also match with your temperament and your way of life. And maybe most times, the reason why you haven't challenged you, you have been having. Any other question, please, uh, we are rounding up now. In the next three minutes, uh, we'll be rounding up. We'll be rounding up in the next three minutes. All right. Somebody is talking about, uh, said there was this day a lady brought brought for deliverance at mfm spoke in voice another voice and she was acting violent so from what i can deduce from your expose are you saying all these things as car and your kunle akini fesi especially you know how your pastors arrange for choreographic miracle and plant people to come and help them to do all you know all these things all right so you know all these things so there's no need for us to Make Maru around it. So these people who have suffered me growing up with their beating, saying I'm evil and all. Please, if you have a way to suffer them too, let them suffer. By the way, you know their Bible said, suffer not a witch to live. And the other time on Franklin's show, Franklin's uh, YouTube, I explained to you about witchcraft, witchcraft and witches, people possessing knowledge of nature, how to interpret the omen, the time, the signs of the cosmos. So if your Bible is saying, suffer not a witch to, to live, they are practically saying they should kill all of you for knowing what you know about nature. Kill all Africans who know about the concept of nature. And what have they done so far? Is that not what they do? Either they kill you mentally or physically. All right, so. Angela is saying, if someone knows your Orisha, is it possible for the person to poison your Orisha? so that they can work against you? Hmm. That's a great question. It is possible. It is possible. The only thing that will not make it possible if they, if they don't know your mother's name. If people, if those people don't know your mother's name, then it will be forfeited. So what your Uri does not take, if someone give it to you, it can mess you up. I will answer the question this way. A person who identifies with water, we admonish them to live in a room that is white, in painting, sleep with a white cloth and all that, and avoid wearing either underwear or something that has to do with red. We advise them also taking nothing fluid that is more than water. If somebody understand all of these things and go to the beach side, Olokun, Oshaomi, and all that, call your name, call your mother's name. 
and give to the water energy what you do not identify with. Your life become messy. These dangerous people are in the world. How do you think they get you spiritually? It is because they find out what you do not identify with and ensure that that is exactly what they give to you. There's a lot of concept in this thing. All right, so. Bakar is saying, according to Zodiac sign, we also have the bath stones called gemstones. I don't work with the Zodiac sign. The horoscope, all those things, is not part of African spirituality. So whatever you are saying about it, I don't... Um, uh, somebody is saying, what about Amubo? What happened to Amubo? When you are not able to finish a project, when you are always doing things uh, midway, when you want to get married, you are always having, you know, all this and blah, 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 blah. Basically, knowing your element and who to roll with, we solve most of this problem. And if it is something that is externally initiated, it can also be able to, we can take care of it. So somebody is saying, what if Ifa advises that you must receive Egbe? Ifa will have no advice in Keloma receive Egbe. So I will join Egbe, or join the APC, I will PDP. I will be me no away. But we don't want to let them come see. But we don't want to waste the time come see. You will go come be. Walk out, walk out sky. You will go come be. Oh, yeah, no walk out. Oh, yeah, low workout. Could they get me squarely if I will be telling you to come and receive a bed? See, not the people that are doing the father say they want to deliver you from a bed. If I will now say you want your name, why do people love misery? Why do they love sadness? Why do they love bondage? Why do people love things that is not to their benefit? Why do we love a mom? Why do we love to initiate ourselves into a depressive state? Why do you? love this bondage why there's something about human being and misery sadness they love pity party they love it when they are miserable in life why you are more than that do spectacular things with your life please okay again the public apology as i used to baba please check your dm i didn't want to disturb you that's why I kept quiet. All right, I will check my DM. Please, guys, please, just please, 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 please. I always beg. I will get you everyone. I will get you everyone. I will get you everyone. All right, so that's it about that. Uh, we'll be calling today from that aspect. I hope in the future, maybe on public television or in a series of our... Of, uh, routine or itinerary will be able to answer that hello 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 all right this person has been calling from nigeria this is why i don't like answering those nigerian people hello 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 yeah, but your boss share. Do you have a question regarding the program or you are calling for something confidential? No, no, just uh, about the program. All right, I think you called it here. Yeah. All right, go I ahead. Said, um, now, if uh, like if now I know the element that I'm identified with, um, what language would I use to command uh, that element? All right. Thank you. Is that all about your question? We are rounding up the program now. Yeah, that's the that's question. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for calling. So the person is asking, if I know my element of nature, with what language can I use to communicate with uh, the element? The same language you are using to communicate with me. It's simple. Water, do this for me, do that for me. Water, I carry you, I take you for healing. Water is for deliverance. Do this for me and all the steam. However, there are some things that are called meduneta, the language of nature. How we'll be able to activate most of these things. Your Babala will be able to tell you the right words to say per time to activate most of those things. Your Babala will be able to tell you all those things. But the language is not going to be a shakalababashing balala. 
Liba Baba, or Ratatatatata. Oh, me cool, Aliya. Say you are speaking in tongue, and when we read it, no, 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 that's not going to be the language. You'll be able to understand. You are speaking to nature. Nature is speaking to you. If you don't have a clue of what you are saying, how do you think what you are speaking to? We have a clue of you. We are not going to be speaking in tongue. It's going to be something you are able to conceptualize so that it can also sprout of confidence in you to be able to call all those things. Um, thank you very much. Somebody say, Baba, like I said before, you look great in black. I'm just catching the program now. All right. Black is my color. So there are people who argue that Baba Lao should not be wearing black. Black if you may also. Like Bachelor on Mingano. You are telling Lorraine, the Loba allowed to more white. All right. What should some so someone with air element be doing? You get to know in that program that there's a series coming in and we'll be working on that. Okay. So I guess that's about that. This is the last question, Baba, please. What is the significance of cowries? Should we wear them? It depends if you, the significance of cowries differ from person to person. And wearing it differ from person to person. Where to also wear either your ori, either your neck, either your leg and all the differs from person to person. Don't do these things because you see them in vogue and it's trending. Do them because it matches with your star and matches with your element. Hmm? Matches with your star and element. Because you want to look African, because you want people to know you practice African spirituality, you not be looking like cave people. <sighs> Putting be civil now. Be civil. You see so many Babala when they appear, they have all these beads, uh, everything, all of, multilateral, universal, multiplicity, multilang, beads everywhere, looking all like a dog that wants to be shamed, chained. You don't need to, it is when you are trying to prove a point to people that you begin to look extra. Eh? Hmm? All right. Thank you very much. So we wrap it up here and uh, let us do veneration and also pray for ourselves. Iba gani gani a wo son, iba kwe le a wo ero le, iba biru mu biru mu a wo oru, iba wo e ya okwa ke ala ke a ro gba shon ma bale. A wo a tori japa, a ti funje do, a te do do ron ro. A do pe yukwe ye je ke le yo she she. We issue the decree to everyone, who may as well say a share today. And your life will never retrogress. We issue decree to everyone by the power of the universe. May you not be found where you are not meant to be. May you not suffer for things you are no, you know nothing of. May your innocence be proven before you serve the sentence. We issue this decree to everyone who is having a court case or the other right now. We ask that the power of issue, which is equity, come to your aid and fight for you. Remember those who are looking for reproduction today. Now, according to the order of universe, may you procreate after your own kind. We issue a decree concerning everyone who is on their deathbed right now. If it is not the will of nature, may you rise up in health, sound health with good life. We issue for everyone who is struggling with their finance today. You will not run dry. The bank of the sea and the source of a river is always wet. May your pocket be wet with money. May you not lack idea and initiative to make the kind of money you deserve in life. We issue to every single one who is traveling by air, by sea, by road. We go go on even genuine well. May you not lose your life to reckless and unmaintained mechanism. 
may issue decree to every home that is struggling. And at the verge of break for, breaking, we ask that if so that your element is meant for one another, every external effort against your love may it not stand. Nitori agbe ni ndun wari wari. Aluko ni ndun waru wano. A shemo ga ni ndun makpa yu makpa yu gbele jafe. A di afun e me ti nsho mo lori di rindi. Ba ye ba mo lò wawwa ma bò. O bò lò wawwa yi lò ne. Ba ye ba mo lè se wawwa juru kwa ta. O juru kwa ta. Ko lò wawwa shi re lò ne. Ba ye ba mo lò ron. A don wawwa la ke ji. A yo ni mo lò ron. O ni bo wawwa e lè nwo. So the next time we meet again, share the love, spread the news, and let your brothers and sisters black people all across the world family and friends listen to this program that's the best service you can do for them to open your eyes hero